What is up, you guys? So today I wanted to talk about Fashion File Reserve. Let's get started. I wanted to talk in depth about the Fashion File Reserve program and discuss basically when I think it's a beneficial tool and when I think you guys should steer clear from the reserve program that Fashion File offers. This is going to be a longish video because I am going to detail as much information as possible because I, I think it's relevant, but I will cut to the nitty gritty as much as possible. I had never used the Fashion File Reserve program. In fact, I was very kind of, I, I, I'm pretty sure I read through the terms and conditions, which is why I was a big no on the reserve program for many, many years. And so the first time that I used the reserve program was last year. If you guys remember me talking about the Chanel bum bag, um, I saw that they had it available at Fashion File. And I want to say I was in the middle of waiting for Chanel to drop the next collection. And so I, the funds that I had, I was kind of reserving because there were several items that I wanted from, was it 21P? I, I can't remember what it was, but I was waiting for that. And so when I saw that they had the bum bag available, I was really torn because I didn't want to spend such a large chunk of money on this bum bag when I was waiting for the Chanel items to drop and I wasn't sure what I was going to be able to get. And so I was really just kind of holding for that. So, you know, I kept thinking, what do I do? What do I do? And I just decided I I I'm not going to buy it. And I read that it said that it was on reserve. And then I thought, well, why don't I just do that? And I checked out on reserve and I actually made a larger payment on the item and it was one of those things that after I checked out and I don't know if this ever happens to you guys that I decided you know what let me go read through the terms and conditions again because I didn't remember what they were my heart dropped again because I had forgotten that all of the reasons why I didn't want to use the fashion file reserve one is that whether or not you complete the reserve uh, payments on the bag you will always be charged a 10% restocking fee on the piece. So no matter what, you're out 10% of your money. And that made me sick. <laughs> the second red flag is Fashion File has a 30-day money-back guarantee. Now, the reserve program is about, I'm not sure if it's the same for everything, but I want to say about 90 days. Now, the 30 days starts the moment that you make a payment on your reserve item. So if you take the full 90 days on an item to pay for it, you can't ever return it for money back. You can get fashion file money back after the 90 days, but you can't get back like real money. So you're paying them real money, but you're going to get fashion file dollars back if you take the full 90 day length of time. And, and I don't want fashion file dollars. I want my money back whenever I make a purchase and if it doesn't work out, which is rare. I don't frequently return luxury items, but it's nice to have that buffer if it doesn't work out. And also keep in mind, this item was something that I had not been able to try on. So I wasn't sure how it was going to fit my frame. So, I was immediately regretful that I had put this on reserve and I thought it was at night so they were closed. I couldn't cancel my order at that time. I could barely sleep that night because I was like, oh my God, how am I going to get out of this? Because they're not charging me 10%. That's just not going to happen. <laughs> In the morning, I looked through their stock again. I don't know why, but they had another uh, Chanel bum bag and I was like, are you serious? And it was cheaper than the one that I had put on reserve. At that point, I thought, you know what? I mean, this is just bad. It's just like bad, 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 all the way around bad. And so I decided I'm gonna call. I'm going to tell them to please put my money from this bag onto that bag, and then I'll just pay it all off. That, that was my plan, because I didn't want them to say that I was returning anything, when really the conditions of the bag were exactly the same. Both of them were in excellent condition. Both of them had a box, the card case, everything was exactly the same. And so one was $200 cheaper 
and I didn't understand why. So I thought that they would be reasonable and allow me to change my order without any consequence or penalty because I had just done it the day before, right? I strapped on my gloves because there was no way that I was going to be paying um, a 10% restocking fee, you guys. Not gonna happen ever in life. I contacted Fashion File. They, uh, you know, I had to argue with them a little bit. It wasn't that much about the 10% restocking fee. They were not able to transfer the money into the other bag. They just said that they would give me back my money and that if it was still available, that I could go ahead and purchase the other bag. So that's what I did. They ended up giving me all of my money back because it was the first time that I had ever used the reserve. You know, I indicated that when I shop, I'm not reading terms and conditions. Like that literally sucks the fun out of shopping. She just said, you know, we'll do this for the, the one time. Pretty much as a favor, right? Well, they did give me all of my money back and then I went ahead and purchased the bum bag outright. I just decided this is just too much trouble. Let me pay for it. So now we know what happened with, with the one that I paid for in full. That one disappeared. They never sent it to me. And I, you know, that was another issue that I talked about in another video. So I actually never received the bum bag. And I ended up having to call the Better Business Bureau. It was like a whole thing, you guys, because they wouldn't make it right. They had the other one that was a little bit pricier but they just would not give it to me even though they couldn't locate the one that I paid for and so I just thought like this doesn't make any sense they're they not were not even trying to make it right at that point so you know I, I did contact the Better Business Bureau because I also saw that they relisted the cheaper bag as soon as they gave me my money back for the second bum bag once I contacted the Better Business Bureau they you know, sent me an apologetic email and they gave me a hundred dollar credit. Before they gave me the hundred dollar credit, I had completely disavowed Fashion File and I would never buy anything from Fashion File ever, ever again. <laughs> because they gave me that credit, I was able to, you know, give them a second chance. And I, I wasn't going to give them like a huge, like a big chance on a big ticket item ever. Uh, I just thought, you know what, I have this $100 credit and so I just need to spend it because I'm not going to lose that money, right? It's $100. At that point, uh, we were nearing the holiday. I decided to look for, and this was about October, so I started looking for something that I did want and I thought, oh, this would be a really good purchase to use the $100 for. And it was the Cartier um, Trinity bracelet that I wanted. And I thought, oh my God, that's like brilliant. <laughs> so I found one and I ended up again because I was in the middle of Christmas purchases, like home decor, all of the stuff that comes with the holidays. I was trying to not buy anything else or I was also in the middle of buying other items as well. Um, I think my Gucci shoes, my Burberry cardigan, you know, I'm always in the middle of buying other things as well. So I thought, you know what, let me use the $100 credit and put a pin on it. You know, that's really the way that I look at um, Fashion File Reserve. Let me put a pin on it. I don't want to deal with, you know, that money right now because I'm spending on other things. Let me just put a pin on it for now and I'll deal with it in a, in a month or in a few weeks or whatever. So I did get this. I used the $100 credit and I thought, oh my God, that was like a brilliant purchase. And so after I finished paying this item, I went looking for something else because I don't know. I feel like that's my mistake <laughs> looking for through their inventory when I complete buying something on the reserve. You'll see a pattern now. I saw an item that was priced phenomenally well and now we're even closer to the holidays and I think okay you know what I just finished paying this off and again I was trying to buy my Louis Vuitton purchases and Christmas purchases and we're still in in, in that time frame right I want to say this one was now in November where I saw it I finished paying that off in November or something along those lines you guys and I saw something else and I thought, you know what, let the holidays pass and let me just put a pin on it. I made a payment on the item that I saw and I thought I'll just deal with it after the holidays. The holidays came and went and about January, I went ahead and I 
finished paying the next item. And that item was this really beautiful diamond by the yard ring from Tiffany in the yellow gold in a pinky size. Which I had mentioned, I kind of regret it not doing a pinky size for it. But in all honesty, I can't imagine paying like full price for like a smaller size ring. And so for me, this was like, I feel like I manifested it. The yard ring has gone up in price. It is now $900. And this ring was listed for $425. And so I just could not not buy it, you guys. And I just thought, oh my God, what an absolute steal. That's less than half, you guys. So that was the reason why I put a pin in it, finished paying it January. Again, I finished paying this and I went to go do like a random search for something else that I had been looking for. And sure enough, they had something else that was priced really well. And I just thought, oh my God, this is becoming chronic. <laughs> And it's always something that is just a few hundred dollars. And what I want to say about Fashion File Reserve is I really do recommend it in the way that I use it, which is for smaller ticketed items. Uh, because, like I mentioned, they do have a 90-day reserve program. You will not get your money back if that item does not work out for you. So I do not recommend it for anything that's like over a thousand dollars anything that's a thousand dollars and under and you're like me and you're constantly shopping and if you find something that is so good i highly recommend under a thousand dollars definitely put it on reserve i feel like if it's such a good deal do not snooze on it if it's available on reserve do it anything over a thousand dollars i really cannot recommend especially if it's going to take you longer than 30 days to pay for it because you will not see your money again, you guys. Anything like Hermes, Kelly's that are like $35,000, I just would never put that on reserve ever. Um, anything that's over $1,000, I just would not use the reserve program for it. I, I really don't recommend it for that. So definitely keep that in mind. I ended up receiving my... Tiffany by the Yards um, pinky ring and about a month later I finished paying the next reserve that I did on the day that I finished paying this and that was another item that was incredibly priced that I had mentioned was on my wish list like two wish lists ago and it was a different version and this is the first time that I had seen it anywhere for that price in this combination and what I'm talking about is the Tiffany and I will post a, a photo of it over here just so you can see it better this is the Tiffany T chain ring and this one has the diamonds I want to say this was priced at 625 and I want to say it has probably the same amount of diamonds as might just include it's really beautiful i'm absolutely crazy about it i do have to have this size because it's a little bit loose on me but it is so stunning and i have to say that when i saw this item on fashion file what i was most surprised was that they had three of them but only one in yellow gold and they had two of them in white gold in one of them was the same size as this one, and one of them was slightly bigger. So I just thought I had never seen these on Fashion File ever, ever. And I look, you guys, I'm constantly, not anymore, because I feel like I have my chain ring fix. <laughs> I, I think I'm set now, so I, I don't look for them. If I do look for them, it is to share them with you guys on my community page or on my. like to know it so definitely follow me there whenever I find them if any of you have been interested in these rings definitely check out my like to know it page and the community page I do share them with you guys and let me know if you guys like that if you want me to share this stuff with you I have been using my community page a lot more um, to share these finds with you guys because 
they're like amazing. I was really, really like so happy that I was able to find this and that they had the reserve program because like I said, I'm always shopping you guys. And I've said this before, I cannot buy everything and I certainly cannot buy everything at once. So again, when I paid this off, I went to go look for something else. <laughs> And like I said, it is an ongoing theme now. And I did find something else that I have been waiting for. And that one is something that I'm still waiting for. And so I will go ahead and do an unboxing on actually two items right now that I have on reserve. Because they were less than retail. They were under $1,000. And I just think that, like I said, if you're also buying other items and you're like me, sometimes you see things and you're like, oh, I just, you know, I, I can't buy it right now. With Fashion File Reserve, if those items are under $1,000, I really, really encourage you guys to use that feature because it is really, really helpful for those of us that, you know, money does not grow on trees. I have since received the uh, other item that I mentioned was on reserve. Uh, but the second item that I said was on reserve, I actually ended up having to cancel because I did go in store to try it on and it wasn't going to fit me. So um, I did go ahead and lose 10% of my money on that reserve. So I cannot stress it enough, you guys. Um, I, I don't care what the amount is. I don't like to give away my money. So it is one of those things. I haven't actually put anything on reserve since that experience because it was a bit of a gut punch, to be honest. It wasn't a whole lot of money. I want to say it was about $45. But I, I just, I don't care if it was $450. It just bothers me to give away money. So I just wanted to kind of close it with that information because, again, I cannot stress you guys that make sure that you know the item that you're putting on reserve is going to fit you guys that it is something that you're going to want if you have an opportunity to go see the item in store um, I know that a lot of times the items on reserve that are under a thousand dollars are usually items that uh, that could be a little bit difficult but please just make sure that it is your right size um, and and do measurements and as much as possible before putting things on reserve because you will end up losing money and that's never fun. So I just wanted to share my experience with the Fashion File Reserve program with you guys. I hope you found this information helpful. I am a convert of my idea with the reserve program, but again, not for anything that is over a thousand dollars. So definitely keep that in mind. And I can't wait to hear your thoughts on the Fashion File Reserve program and what your experience is in the comment section down below. That is it for today. I will chat with you guys later. Bye.